Hi, I'm Richard McKenzie, co-author of Microeconomics for MBAs. This video module is going to be on a monopolistic uh, competition. Monopolistic competition is one of those market structures that is considered to be uh, realistic. It's a market structure made up of a number of producers producing a similar or differentiated uh, product. And there are uh, some costs to entering the market and exiting the market, but the costs are not uh, prohibited. Uh, a monopolistically competitive market can have, say, 30 uh, producers uh, in it. Uh, however, there's not much to be uh, gained from examining uh, monopolistic uh, competition. We can do it in fairly short order. Here we have a graph that's uh, very much like the um, uh, graph for a monopoly, and, but we can make it uh, uh, for monopolistic competition. Um, and um, mainly because a monopolistic competitor is one that faces a downward sloping uh, demand curve, which means its marginal uh, revenue curve is uh, also downward sloping. The firm will produce where marginal cost is equal to marginal revenue, just like any other uh, producer. And as a consequence, it will produce a quantity Q, uh, we'll call that QMC. It can sell this quantity uh, for a price of PMC. Uh, and the result is that this competitor can make profits equal to this box uh, here. Now, that may be a, a short-run phenomenon because the profit that can be extracted uh, from, by this uh, producer uh, will encourage other, other producers to come into the market. And when other producers come into the market, uh, there will be more producers dividing up uh, the market demand for it, and we should expect the demand curve to uh, decline. We should also expect uh, the demand curve to become more elastic as firms move in, simply because consumers can, can become uh, more responsive uh, to a price change. The moral, moral of the story is that for a monopolistic competitor, the demand curve can move down and do something uh, like this. And the result is that it might uh, end up producing in the long run at a quantity uh, Q1, selling at a price of uh, P1. It, um, you will notice that the demand curve is tangent uh, to the long run uh, average uh, cost curve, which means the price is equal to average cost, which means the firm is not making any economic profits. Now, in a monopolistic competitive market, it's possible that the demand curve could come all the way down to here. If so, if it did come down to, say, that position, uh, the price that could be charged would definitely be below the, um, the average cost and losses would be made. Well, if monopolistic competitors are losing money, some of them in the long run will get out of the market. Uh, there'd be fewer producers uh, dividing up the market, the demand curve should go up. So in a monopolistically competitive market, we might anticipate uh, that uh, the end result is where you have zero economic uh, profits. But notice that the production level is going to occur uh, at an co average cost that is higher uh, than the uh, minimum. Uh, in a monopolistic competitive market, profits um, may go to zero, costs may be higher than they uh, could be uh, if, if you had a perfectly competitive market. But notice that in order to have a perfectly competitive market, you need numerous producers selling an identical product. At least uh, uh, some of the uh, added costs of monopolistic competition can be offset by the added benefit of, of a number of differentiated products. Uh, thank you very much for being with me.